my movie is called my movie dot WMV. Let's do two things. Let's let's do three things. Let's first make sure this works. Because I'd hate to go through all the trouble of talking about this and then find out it doesn't work. Then we'll, then we'll look at the basics of HTML. Then we'll look at specific to this, this video page. So there is the page. I can figure what I'm doing wrong. No, it's not playing because it doesn't know the WMV file. So let me see if I can. F um, I may have set the mime type wrong, which we'll talk about in a second. Doesn't support WMV. To best support Opera. Well, Chrome is far support. Okay, let us export this then to a. Let's change this to an MP4. out of this guy and let's go ok 
convert WMV to MV4. Free online file conversion, as previously stated. I don't know if this is a particular one that you uh, use, but well, let's knock on wood and hope it works. Convert, convert your file now. Unload in free. All right, select file. That's not the one I want. This is the one I want. Choose to convert to, convert to MP4. Enter my email address, okay. And then convert. Chugging away. Let yeah, me it's go. It's conceivable that uh, HTML5 wouldn't support uh, Shockwave, right? Repeat that, I please. I mean, uh, Flash. It's inconceivable that it wouldn't support Flash, right? Flash video, you mean? Yeah. Um, I would think so, yeah. In the meantime, let's look at the HTML. We'll come back to this later on. All HTML is, is a series of tags. What tags do is tell the browser how to interpret the content that you have. So if we think of a web page, and a web page is a plain text file, no formatting or anything in it, it's just a plain old text file. Yet we have different size font on the page, we have headings, we have links. How does the browser know what is what? It knows it through a series of tags. So, in this very simple example, we simply have an HTML5 document. How do I know it's an HTML5 document? I don't see a five on that whole page. Yeah, it knows that, but how do I, how do, how does it know that? Let me rephrase that. Is the first tag different than yeah, the type? Yeah, exactly. It knows that based on the doc type. This doc type right here specifies essentially the version of the HTML specification that you're using, and actually. That, as it stands, is HTML5, all right? Between the starting and ending tag is the contents of my whole web page. So, I simply have said, I have an HTML5 document. My document starts here and ends there. Notice that tags come in pairs, all right? HTML slash HTML. The slash HTML represents an end tag. So start and end. Everything between here and here is by HTML page. All right. Likewise, body. There's generally two sections to an HTML page, a head and a body. This particular case doesn't have a head. All right. Um, that sounds gruesome, right? Uh, it's a decapitated uh, web page. doesn't have a head. 
Normally the head would go right here. In fact, we can go and put it in. No, with the IntelliSense, it kind of gives us an idea of what it is to type. And if I put my start tag in, it automatically puts my end tag in, which is nice. It's now telling me the list of things that are typically in the head section. And one of them is the title. Oops. All right. The title is what appears up on the title bar for a page. So typically on a web page, you'll have a head section, you have a body section. All of that within the HTML. The body is the main section of the page. That's, that's what you see in the window. The head section is information sort of about the page. The one tag that we're interested in is the video tag. All right. The video tag, we can specify the width and height of the video that we want it to display on the screen, which could be different than the actual width and height of the video. All right. We can specify whether we want controls to display or not, the little play, stop, pause, that kind of thing. We can then specify the name of the file that the video is in. Where does it have to be in the computer in order for it to find? In order for this to work? When you have it like this, it needs to be in the same directory. Okay? Same directory as? As the HTML page. So both the HTML page and the um, video are on the desktop right now. So they're in the same folder. So it doesn't matter where. If you don't have them in the same folder, you have to specify a, a, a path, yeah. Like either a relative path or an absolute path, depending on, on your situation. You can have multiple sources. So you can have a list of these sources. And again, especially with higher end video editing software, you can export the same video to several different formats. All right. And then what you could do is you could have a list of them so we wouldn't run into that problem that we had earlier today of a, of a browser or of a video format not being supported. What it will do is it will start at the first one and it will go down the line until it finds one that works. If it does not find one that works, you get this error message that just tells the user that it doesn't work. Now in this case, I put an error message. What I could do is I could put a link to the video in some other page or whatever that was non-HTML5, or I could actually put the other code in there. So it's either going to find it or it's going to do this XML. Oh, I'm sorry, this uh, whatever HTML code's here. And in this case, it's just a plain old message. All right, let's see if I've got my email. There we go. That's okay, this has deep freeze on it. I'll just reboot and try again. All right, there we go. <coughs> All right. Successfully converted. Downloading it. All these things like that are, are very interesting business models because what they're doing is they're giving you a free service, but they're making it a little difficult for you too at the same time. <laughs> you gotta look at all this stuff. You have to look at all this stuff for one thing, like look for all the advertisement. A lot of them have little fake download buttons that are actually yeah, clicking your ad, clicking an ad as opposed to the actual file that you really want to download. And yeah, so um, here download my download manager first. Right, right, exactly. All sorts of things like that. And again, you know, they're giving it to you for free, so you know, 
can't ask for your money back, I suppose, but you're right, it's very annoying. All right, I think that's it. Yeah, that's the MP4. Let me copy it to the desktop. And let me be sure to rename it, because I renamed it to movie, not my movie. Make sure I save it. Here's my MP4 file. Here's my HTML file. If I open it up and play and play, did I change the mind type? Yes, I did. slash mp4 video slash mp4 movie.mp4 movie.mp4 okay no clue why this isn't working um, I'll do some troubleshooting on this and um, stab on this. If it's this problem, I'm going to kick myself. No, it is an MP4. should work. I don't know. That, I suppose that's a possibility. Let me do some troubleshooting this. I will either post this uh, over the weekend. I definitely will have it for Monday's class. All right. So I'm not really sure what, uh, what the issue is for that. But as you can see, basic HTML isn't that hard. I just want you to effectively do that, except yours needs to work. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, of course, won't hold you into having it work at my, if I can't get mine working, so that, that's, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just not 